Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You're at James Carcade, and today we are back in Greenville with another Greenville car reviews. Today's car is going to be the 2022 Land Rover Defender 110, which is the four door version of the Land Rover Defender. This one I have spec'd out in the top of the line, surprisingly expensive V8 Ivory Edition in the color Fuji White, and with the not so nice looking 20 inch black six spoke wheels the defender has to be one of my favorite new land rover models i think the defender looks absolutely amazing the wheels on this specific defender though don't look that great they're not my favorite i prefer the ones on the other defender i have the main difference, I think, between the V8 and the V8 Ivory Edition is really just this giant black stripe that goes all the way down the middle. Uh, I can't really see any difference. But you see this black here and then the black roof. There's really no other difference between this one here. Except for the wheels, but otherwise there's really no other difference, which is pretty surprising. At the back here, you can see the beautiful looking smoked taillights and the quad exhaust pipes. Of course, since this is a V8, it sounds amazing. And let's take a look at your lighting. So your brake lights, turn signals, turn signals in the front, daytime running lights, headlights, and turn signals on your mirrors, and the running lights in the back, and your reverse lights. Now, this car, I think, looks... I think the 90 looks a little funky. A lot of people say they think the 90, which is the two-door version, looks better than this. But personally, I have to respectfully disagree. Just pop my tire, that is lovely. Top speed on this thing is going to be over 140. 140. 149 miles per hour, so almost 150 miles per hour with an 8-speed transmission. That's pretty fast, I gotta say. For a SUV like this, 150 is fast. I'm excited to see what the 0-60 to 60 times are, and this car probably has one of my favorite launches of any car in Greenville. And now in sport mode, three lines from the side here in sport mode three two one go you can see the entire car back of the car just completely squats down that is a super cool thing to happen on this thing because the suspension on this thing i assume it likely does the same thing in real life it's way more noticeable in the 90 but the fact that it actually squats down like that is very very cool a very cool feature in sport mode, 0 to 60 is around 4.05 seconds. I wasn't paying attention too much, so it was probably more around 4. Point, uh, 4.2, 4.3 seconds, but still close enough. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, the price on this thing is expensive. Let's fly into the dealership here. Almost literally fly. We were close. Here we go. And we pop the tires. Lovely. Which tires do we pop? Oh, the back two tires. Amazing. And another tire. Perfect. Alright. To find this Land Rover Defender. Like I say in every single video, there's so many different ways you can find them. Um, what's a Terrain Traveler? I'm not sure what the Land Rover name is in this game, so... I'm just gonna scroll down and see if I can find it. Defender right here. So it's right before the Terrain Traveler. I don't know why that's Terrain Traveler, but this is Terrain Preserver. 
Whatever, that's weird. Uh, now I'm gonna find it again. Up, 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 up. Ah, there it is. Alright, so we have the 110. I'll go over the pricing for the 92 since it's basically the same thing. Base trim preserver, 52,300. For the V8, not even the Ivory Edition, for the V8, it's $104,000. That's a lot of money. That's double the price of this thing. I mean, this thing only has 195 horsepower, but... Uh, the G Vital, I don't know what that is. The terrain is 83,000 for with Steelies, which is crazy. The G Vital is 66. G is 85. I don't know what that is either, but... V8 Ivory Edition. 290 horsepower, that's not accurate. 149 per miles per hour is accurate. Auto drive, 5 seats, 18 miles per gallon, that does not sound accurate. 5,100 pounds, probably about accurate. $111,000. A lot of money for a decent amount of car. The V8 definitely makes up some of the price, but... Mm, would you really spend eleven grand on a V8 Land Rover Defender? You have quite a different... A uh, variety of color options, which is nice. I love this brown and the green. They both look amazing. And pricing for the 90 is exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about having less money or being able to better afford the 90 if you're looking for the 90. They're about the same price. With that said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you just smash the like button, please consider subscribing. Drop in the comments down below what kinds of videos you guys want to see, because recently I've kind of been running out of ideas. I don't always have the opportunities to record roleplay videos. I'm trying to make more of them, but I don't always have the opportunity. So for, in the meantime, while I'm trying to record more roleplay videos with Noah and other guests on the channel, wink, wink, let me know down in the comments what kind of content you guys want to see, and I'll get you guys in the next one. Peace out.